Hello and welcome to Speak Out. Today's episode, we're going to be speaking about the things I hear women say. Uh, a lot of women are saying there is no more men out in this world today. There's no one holding doors. There's no one giving up their seats. Uh, there's no one helping them. And today I'm going to explain why. And I'm going to tell you the difference between the men and the female today. But I tell you this much, after today's episode, I'm going to have a lot of the females disagreeing with me because they don't want to say I was right. And it's going to happen. After today's show, you will see the difference of what I'm trying to explain to you. And then maybe it'll give you a little bit more uh, eye opener to this subject. Well, let's first say women say there's no more men. No, these men these days don't hold the uh, door for me. These men these days don't give up their seats. These men these days, these men these days, that's all I keep hearing. But let me break it down for you. One, first of all, uh, if you remember this thing called the women's rights movement, you wanted everything equal. Um, be careful what you wish for. That's one, one, one thing. You ask for equal rights, equal pay, equal jobs, equal this, equal that. But as soon as a man treats you equal, you didn't want that. And then top it off, a lot of you women are like, we want equal rights, we want equal things. But I've never seen none of y'all running to do sewer jobs, oil you rigs, uh, you know, even big construction skyscraper uh, jobs, holding beams, because you know why? Because you know deep inside there's no such thing as equal. It, it, it can't be, you know. We're gonna go with the chromosomes again, the XY and the Y, you know, all this other stuff. Men are physically gonna be a little bit stronger. So for a female to do beam work and carrying beams all over, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I'm not saying a lot of them don't do it. I'm just saying some of them do, um, don't. But that's one of the reasons. You wanted equal rights and you wanted, you know, and then you have the ones that want equal rights, then you have the, the, the feminists that say, I don't need a man to do this. I don't need a man to do that. Uh, I can pay my own thing. I can pay my own. And, but those are the same ones that are saying, why is it a man not uh, paying for my food? Why is it a man not picking me up? Why is it a man? Well, I'm going to break it down a, uh, a little bit more for you. When you were a, a kid, a little boy, you know, little girl, whatever, there, there are uh, three stages, right? You're a child, a young adult, an adult, correct? That's three. Um, there's four seasons, winter, spring, summer, fall. So there's always levels, you know, to stuff. Uh, even in your job, either you're a, a below worker, you're a mid worker, or you're the high type uh, office people. Um, low class, middle class, high class. So there's always levels. And I'm gonna tell you why, first of all, when you're saying to yourself, I can never find a good man. I can never find a good man. I'm gonna break it down to you why you can't find a good man. <clears throat> and it has nothing to really do with, uh, well, part of it has to do with where you're going. You know, if you're trying to find a good man and you're going to the strip joints, eh, I don't know if you're gonna find, a, you know, that person you're looking for, but that's not a here or there right now. It's gonna, it's gonna fall in, in place, give me a second. First of all, when you're a child and they don't see you for a long time, and then you finally see that one child all grown up into a teenager or anything, what's the first thing besides, oh my God, that they say? They say, wow, you have grown to be a fine man because they looked at them. That's it, that's all. But if you do something nice, hold the door, even when you are a small child, a big child, a, a teenager, what is the word they use? I'm gonna tell you later. I'm gonna tell you right now, think about that. When you're a child and you hold the door for someone, and then if you're a, you know, a, a teenager or grown up and you do that, what do they call you? Or oh, when you're an adult, what do they call you when they, they call you something else, but they're supposed to call you this word? 
I'm going to tell you that later because now I'm going to go to the lady side. When you are female, a young female, then you're a, you know, a baby female, young female, adult female, okay? When you are these type of things, when they see you, they say, wow, you have grown to be a great woman. But then if you do something nice, hold the door, hold this, do that, do, they call you something else. You don't know what it is yet? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now. When you're young, middle age, let's say, and then an adult, and you hold the door, do something nice, they say, wow, what a gentleman. When you sit properly as a female, you have elegance. You speak properly. You do things. You hold doors for people. You do this. They say, wow, what a young lady or a lady. They say lady. When you're doing something good, like a man, a boy, you're young, and you do something crazy, running in the streets, the, wow, look at this little boy. That's what they say, right? Or if a man does that, they were like, wow, look at this guy, look, acting like a little boy. A little boy. When you become an adult, and <clears throat> they see you, that you have a house, you have, you know, roof over your head, you're taking care of your kids, you have a wife, let's say, they say, wow, you have grown to be a great man. Because that's what a man does. A man takes care of his abilities of, to live. And if he has a family, he takes care of them. That's what a man does. A man does not hold doors for you. A man does not uh, sit up. A man does not uh, say thank you, do this. That's not a man. See, these are the things that people need to realize. Those things are gentlemen. That's why they say gentle, because they are gentle about it. Hi, how you doing? When I say that as an adult, I hear all the elders be like, you're a great gentleman, I, you're so proper and everything. They never said you're a great man, you are so proper or everything. They say you're a great gentleman because they stages. So when you say, I don't find a great man or a man doesn't do this, a man doesn't do that, is because you're looking for a gentleman. And men also, y'all confuse that. So when a girl said, oh, I'm, not a, I'm, uh, I'm looking for a great man, and you, now you don't want to give your chair up, and now you don't want to open the door, that you, you lost the fact. They were talking about they want men to do that. Let the men, the men ain't going to, they never did that. No man in the world has ever opened the door for you. A gentleman has opened doors for you. So your gentleman, continue doing what you're doing because you're a gentleman. Let them try to figure something out. Same thing with ladies. You sit properly, you speak to me. I'm like, wow, that's a lady that I want to know. But when you don't, and you're taking care of your kids, and you, or, or no kids, you're just taking care of yourself in your house, I'm like, that's a great woman. See what I'm saying? You understand what that means? The two different things? So when, and the problem with some of the females is when you're looking for a, a mate, and now you're like, oh, I'm tired of these boys, I need men. What you're trying to say, you're tired of these people that are acting like a kid. So now you need a man, which a man is a worker, a provider, a person that uh, does for the family, things like that. Now that's what you're saying, you want a man. So when you say, oh, I want a man, but now you had this man, but then you're gonna go, oh, he's so rude. He doesn't do this, he doesn't do that. He doesn't wanna open the door for me. He doesn't bring me flowers, he doesn't do. Well, because you wanted a man. A man's job is not that. A man's job is the provider. Now you want a gentleman. So us men, as a male, we have to learn how to balance that. How to be a man, and then how to be a gentleman. A gentleman is higher than a, the, the man. You know what I'm saying? So as a male, I say to the people, learn the balance. Be that gentleman that you're supposed to be. And then in your house and your home, be that man that you're supposed to be in your life. In your life, be that man to provide for yourself, 
to provide for your family to do that. But in outside world and everyone around you, be that gentleman that people are looking for. And then ladies, when you say you're looking for a man, you have a good man in front of you, but you throw him away because they don't have what you want. And when you say, oh, I don't find a good man, is meaning that you are not looking properly. You're looking for a man when you want the whole package, which is a gentleman. Did that make any sense? Hope it does. Well, hope I lighten you up a little bit of what I think is wrong. Um, Cause since I was young, my dad always told me, and shout outs to Jose Perez, always told me, when you grow up, try to be the best gentleman you can be. And in your life, be the best man you can be. So that's all it is. So if you learn how to break it down like that, cool. Because in my life, I wasn't looking for a woman. I was looking for a lady. A lady that's going to be right for me. And I was the gentleman for her. And exactly what happened is exactly what I found. Once I stopped looking for the woman, and I started looking for the lady, my life got better. So hopefully that makes any sense. This is Charles Aloma, and this is Speak Out. Until next time.